Cars in the federal Roll up and smoke a L Still get the W Haters can go to hell That chopper get rid of you I'm in the studio putting in that work I'm just trying to better my craft And acknowledge my mistakes And correct them That's the only way you become great You know what I mean? Just perfecting my craft at this point, making me better, making me stronger, making me bigger, making me faster. Like I say, I time myself. When I wear this watch, I'm on time. This watch here costs a lot of money. You got like three, four, five different times on. You see that motherfucker called money, real gator and all that. Not to mention that, but I ain't trying to stun y'all, I'm just trying to motivate y'all though. My thing is this, when you step in the studio, you got to time yourself. You got to beat your time. You got to go in there. Don't go in there to smoke and drink. That shit ain't about nothing. If you ain't going there to get work in, this ain't no motherfucking club. I don't want to be here. I come here to work. This is where I work. I just punch the clock. I clock in and clock the fuck out and go home where I want to be at. I want to be home playing NBA 2K. But I'd rather be here getting it in, getting better. While you play NBA 2K. See the difference between me and you? I rather get money, try to flip the behind it. All that, that's real talk. I always challenge myself to do better every time. So, I'm gonna try to get this shit in one tape. I take five minutes to lay a track. I think Lil Flip said I take 15 minutes to like a track, boy. I take five. Cause I always strive for perfection. So I'm gonna try to do this shit in one tape. Feel me? I'm ready. Call half a million, no key to it. Hate that nigga with the E unit. X-ray vision, I see through him. Hit him 52 times like Ray Lewis. COD gotta pay nine. Cash on deck, no PayPal. Chop a shoot three like Ray I. Put it in the mouth, make her say I. Everybody ain't blessed with good genetics. Everybody ain't blessed to be born with money. Everybody ain't blessed to be born with fame. I'm going to give you some game, though. God give his toughest test to his strongest soldiers. Which means if you're sleeping on the floor right now, that don't define you. That don't mean that you're going to forever sleep on it. There's niggas that slept on the floor. Ray Lewis, one of them, slept on the floor, had no daddy and all that shit, and made the NFL and wound up rich as fuck. You have to understand, people who got it tough learn how to appreciate a bag of chips. Don't get discouraged. It's scrippers right now that be 17 to a room, one bedroom with one bathroom. They take a turn to get on the toilet and take a bath. And they go to the club and make 1700 don't know what to do with it. Because they don't know the art of patience and appreciating shit. People, the people of the world are lost without guidance. That's why we all need a leader. That's why as the president of the United States, you think one man can run this country? It's nine billion motherfuckers. Why would we listen to one motherfucker? It's not happening. But the nation is lost, just like a courtroom is lost without a judge. If a judge ain't in the courtroom, the whole courtroom are going mayhem because it ain't nobody to see sense. Barack Obama called war or he called peace. One man, that's why you got to know is, is God. God is real. One man. God, devil. You take the old, uh, 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 uh. Fucking O out of uh, good, you got God. You take the D off of devil, you got evil. That's real. So what I'm telling you is this. If you not blessed with genetics, money, fame, like some kids are, you have to work harder than others. I always got to lace y'all with the game. It won't be right. Straight stunting like a motherfucker. And it's just how I feel. I, I just want to lace my people. You know me? I just feel like my people need this shit, man. You know? You got to have knowledge. Knowledge is power. I'd rather many years of knowledge over many millions of money. Because I'd rather be 
I rather die at 200 years old rather die a $100 million nigga at 50. Fuck is that about? You feel me? I want to live forever. I'm trying to be rich forever. But with knowledge, you can always obtain money, lose it, and get it back. With money, you can't do nothing with. This nigga with money right now can't even get in the game because they still lost. You know what I mean? Like, they don't know what to do. They just spending money here, spending money there. They don't have knowledge. They ain't got no fucking brain. They don't got no guidance, no patience. Nobody telling them the right things to do. We over here, we know what to do. We won. You can Google me. When I walk in the building, they know who I am. I never introduce myself because I worked for everything I got. I started from zero. I never depended on no label, no man to give me nothing. If I wanted something, I went and got it. Never waited. When they told me to wait, I told them to kiss my ass. And I kicked the dough down. And I went and got what I wanted. Believe that. The monsters was humans, not some unreckoned power that you couldn't fuck with. It was the people. It was monsters. So you have to take that and understand that they everywhere. Fuck them. Keep moving. Don't let it bother you. If you ain't got haters, you better find a way to make some. Because I damn sure need some new ones because the old ones starting to like me. And I'm starting to get bored. I need new haters. That's why I wear everything. And I don't give a fuck. I don't care. They gonna hate. They hated on Jesus. So who am I? A man without sin who walked in the in the fucking street and did miracles, and they hated on him. So who am I? What the fuck they gonna do to me? If they hated on a man without sin, what you think they gonna do to me? They gonna step on your ass. They gonna spit on you. They gonna nail you to the cross. They gonna watch you die. They watched a robber who killed everybody, robbed it. They freed him before they freed Jesus Christ. If you pay attention to that, you will know that the universe is built off negative energy. You have to use that negative, you have to use their energy to turn it to your positivities and positive energy. Use that to keep fighting. And another thing is, last thing I want to share with y'all is, God could have built the world in seven in one day, seven hours, two hours, one hour, one minute. He took six days to build the world and the seventh day he rests. That means God knew the art of patience. He took his time with the seas. He took his time with the earth and everything. So what that tells me is this. The game don't change, the players do. You have to master the art of patience. You have to take your time with doing shit. Do not think that it's going to come overnight. Take your time. Sit down. Make a plan. A man who failed a plan plans to fail.